Hello and welcome back to Scatterbrook Farm Garden Designs. Okay, I hope you're all well. All uh, enjoying doing your decorating and designing and whatever you're doing. Anyway, I've had a message from a Jasmine who has asked me, uh, which she's basically not long started the game. She's cleared all her trees. And she wants to know, can I do a design for her around the farmhouse, <coughs> incorporating the barn and the silo and the creamery? Because she doesn't know what to do. She's cut all the trees down. Now, I do advise you, when you do start the game, one of the first things you want to do, really, is, you know, get some axes and saws and that up together and start cutting all the trees down so just imagine that, that barn and that planted area isn't there and all you're, you've got once you've cut all the trees down all this area is all green and you're ready to decorate so before you do any designing or think of doing any design you need to clear an area otherwise you know you're going to have things in the way and you're not going to be able to decorate so um that's one thing that i would advise is when you first start the game, one of the first things you want to do, obviously when you've got a couple of the machines and that, start clearing your farm. Otherwise you're going to have no room to put any deco or any, any trees that you want to put in or any designs. So for all those low level players, what I'm going to do for you today, especially Jasmine, is I'm going to do a design around the farmhouse. Um. As you can see, what I've done is, just to save a bit of time, what I've done is I've, I've, I've incorporated the barn and the silo and, the, and the, um, the creamery in a little area there, fenced it off. Now, what I'm using, I'm using all stuff that's for low level, that's cheap, cheap coins, you know, uh, the, 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 the path that you get, the stone path that you get, you know, it's very, very cheap, so you can use quite a lot of it, and it still looks quite effective. So that's just an add-on to the to the farmhouse. Um, so right, I'm going to do it live as it's uh, as it's happening. So again, like I always say in my designing, you know, we're not sure how it's gonna how it's gonna turn out. It'll either look really really nice, or it, you know, it's. I mean, I don't really want to say that it's it's going to look basic. Because what I, I try and do is, even if I've got the, the low-level stuff, I try and make it, you know, outstanding, even though it's low-level stuff. So we'll have a go. Um, now, as you can see, what I've done, I've put a boundary fence. I do that in a lot of my designs. Put a boundary fence, and then you've got something to work to. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with a... in the top corner. So we need a bit of height. A bit of height in the top corner. Now, I think what looks nice in the back garden, and you can get that, is a gazebo. Now, the pavilion is quite nice, but that's diamonds. So we'll stay away from the diamonds, okay? We're not going to use anything that, 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 you know, that you've got to buy with diamonds. All we're going to do is stick to stuff that you, for low levels, with coins and vouchers because vouchers you can get easy enough i mean they're straightforward to get so we'll place a gazebo just inside the corner there so now what we're going to be doing is we need some height at the back behind now what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and use stuff obviously for low levels and i'm going to try and get a feature around the back of the gazebo to give it like an umbrella effect so we've got stuff behind that looks as though it's just sort of sort of hovering over the top of the of the building so it gives it that lovely cozy effect in the corner because if you can imagine putting stuff now in the middle of the garden that that gazebo just looks it just, just looks like it's stuck in the middle of nowhere i mean if i was to put that there now and get an apple tree and stick it there it all looks out of sorts. It just looks as though it's just stuck there on its own and it, it there's, there's no effect. So you need height at the back and then you slowly feather down to lower down at the front so you get the best effect out of your design. 
So what we're going to do, we are going to give it a go. So we're going to go into trees or nature. And we're going to look for a leafy tree. Now, again, leafy tree, I think that's just vouchers. You've got dark leafy tree and leafy tree. So we go for a normal leafy tree and we'll put that there at the back. Now, we want a large conifer, two large conifers, one either side. Uh, pine tree. We need two of those, so we'll put those to one side. Now, we need to go down and find... Two large conifers the big conifers there they are so we can put one there we can put one there we now put that one there and we put that one there now what we do is that tree that's at the back is swinging to the right so we just turn that conifer that conifer that's just friends bar and you go back um so that one's correct and that one so friends bar back and now those trees now should all be sort of floating in the in the same direction okay so now we need some color in the back so we'll go for right down the bottom here what have we got leafy plant so let's get those out and we molly leave that cut alone so we put that one there and that one there okay we need to turn them because they're not quite showing at the middle Is that one there and that one there okay so now we're going to need to give it that umbrella effect to, to, to close it in around. So what we're going to do, we'll get a couple of these apple trees, I think. Let's have a look. One, two. Okay. Now, as you can see, as you zoom out, it's all starting to now umbrella over the top of that, over the top of the gazebo. Let's have a look at that yep that's good now what we can do is get a daffodil and put that one out there and one out there now kick that right um we'll add a path so again not using any fancy Pass. we'll just stick with the cheap path that you get to start with now we say the cheap path it's something it looks quite nice so we'll make that down towards the house okay so now what we need to do is we need to enhance the front and then down towards the the farmhouse so we will go to roses. Now I'm not I'm not sure a hundred percent what level you've got to be to get the yellow roses. I think I think it's quite low. If not, you can use the white roses, but we'll go with the yellow for now. Doesn't matter if, if you can get those, just use the white. Absolutely not a problem. So we'll make that down towards the house and that stops there. We bring that from that conifer there. So it's identical either sides and you've got that beautiful avenue now weaving its way up into that corner. So already you've got that cosy effect in the corner there. You've got the beautiful conifers there either side and the apple trees acting as that, as that canopy. So it gives that beautiful, beautiful, cosy look into the corner there okay so now we need some trees around the outside we need something in this top right hand corner so let's go for a dark leafy tree now again this is just vouchers 
so we'll put that leafy tree there do we kick it right or do we kick it there we kick it right there with that branch so you see that little dark branch that's hanging out at the bottom you know you could kick it left look you'll see that dark branch there it's it's facing into the garden yeah you turn it and it kicks out to the garden so you can either have it just hanging over the corner of the fence or you can have hang it out you know got it get it hanging over a feature in the garden but we'll leave it like that for now okay so now we can uh, the only trees that you can get really low level like i say is the leafy trees there's the reset again it happens every video but there you go okay um yeah tree wise you can either the leafy trees but if you've got too many leafy trees they're too big too overpowering and then all of a sudden you, you you've swamped your garden so we'll go for some more apple trees i think i mean we got you know, some down there as well so what we'll do is we can put that there i'm just using these because i haven't got any small apple trees you know you use whatever size apple trees you want really let's have a look okay now i think that is a little bit too close together let's have a look I get a flash now and again on this game. It's like someone's taken a photograph. With a flash camera. Um, right, okay. And then we can go there. And in the corner. We've already got that one there. So now, we do not want any height on this bottom side. If you have height on the bottom side, let's say for argument's sake you put it put this here. Even though it looks quite nice. Now if you put anything in the garden behind those, you're not going to see it. So it swamps it out, it covers it. So you can either put some smaller apple trees or a feature which we, we, we can do. But we'll just we'll just do it as we go. As you can see it looks nice uh you know you could turn around and say well i can't get the yellow let's just see what the white looks like i mean the white might look really really pretty you know the white the white links up the uh links up the two the, the gazebo to the farmhouse you know sometimes the the white will clash with the path but sometimes it might really really stand out so there's the white and there's the yellow i quite like the yellow like that you know that draws it in you know it keep it gives it like it makes it quite warm with the yellow but you've seen the white so you can see what the white looks like i'm not in i'm not in edit mode so we're doing it as we go piece by piece piece by piece right okay there and there yeah i wanted to put that all the way down there didn't i right okay so we've got those trees okay so now what we want now is we want another medium conifer between the daffodil and the apple tree i'll only, I'll only do it if i've got the uh, if i've got the conifers big pine tree pine tree oh, i've only got 21 left one there and one there okay now they go in the same way so we need to reset reset that and we can see that no that's got to kick that way and that one's got to kick that way reset and back and now they all should be going the same way okay so we've got that little design there that's quite nice now i've deliberately left a gap see where the yellow daffodil is showing that little bit of a wall just up above now what that does is that keeps the stuff on the right, all this planted area on the right, 
and all the stuff on the left it keeps that separate from the corner feature so when you look at it that that back feature stands out so if you swamped it all to if you put it all together it would be completely it would be all too much so it's just lovely to have that little gap just to define the feature okay so what we're going to do now we're going to go and get some more daffodils just to put in between again these are all coins daffodil there and a daffodil there kick it left um so that's fine to, to there so already you can now start seeing that there's a beautiful beautiful garden starting to take shape really really pretty so now we've got to start looking at filling in the rest of the garden um now what you could do with this here which would look nice is in this bottom corner we could have a daffodil there and then go back to the yellow flowers and put that down there 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 and there let's just have a look take this up to there that would be no good to there okay we do away with that and we can get another yellow flower and put that to there let's have a look okay let's have a little look now we need a, a feature in there so we could have what have we got now I've got to be careful because I can only use stuff like, like say Yasmin's I don't know whether she's done any darbies but certainly in, in some of the darbies you can win these so I mean you know you could put that in in the middle of the garden that really stands out you know a lovely sundial um, but we need to we need to go with stuff for low levels that you're guaranteed that you can get when you're you're low level so i think there's a a well a bird table let's have a look the only problem is with the bird table it, it, it's like i mentioned in one of my videos it's a little bit out of scale it's nearly as big as the gazebo you know um so i don't really know I mean, that does look very pretty. Um, let's have some more flowers just in this in this corner here. Again, we need to only go with flowers. You can win these. These flowers are easy enough to get. And you can put that one just coming out into the corner there. Let's have a look. No, that looks hideous. Absolutely hideous. Okay. Ferns. No, they're 10 diamonds. <laughs> so all the time we're just looking at what we could get. Rocks. Not sure whether you can get those rocks or is that... I think that's in the sanctuary. That's in the sanctuary. Sanctuary. What about that? We got that. A bit of purple there. Just coming out the corner of the house there. No. See that red does look it's nice, it's vibrant, you see. So that red's nice. And then what we'll do, we get a little tree. A tiny little tree, a little, a small leafy tree. There we are. And put that in the corner. Again, it's got that branch kicking left and right. Can you see that, that branch kicking out onto the onto the house? See there, 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 there. So you kick it left. So that's quite pretty there on the left hand side. Um so now what we can do is we can have another daffodil there. 
No, we're not. Don't like that. Um, some of the yellow flowers. They're quite nice. Where are they? Where are you, yellow? There they are. There, 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 and there. And we get that kick that left into that gap. Let's have a look. That's really pretty. Um, so now we need something to come down this fence. Um, uh, do I add a piece of path to there? Uh, let's have a look. Like I say, there's no plan. It's just work, working as we go. I'm just looking at it and think, thinking that looks nice. That doesn't look nice. So we're just basically... Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah. We, see, now that bird table, you say that's standing out. It's too big. It's too big. So, I don't know what you can put in there. I just... It's up to you what you want to put in there. I'm going to just assume that you want to... Or, you know, you go in the derby and you get yourself a sundial. Sundial looks lovely. Um, You could put anything you want in there. You know, you win something and it might, might look nice in there. I think that just sets it off. Just turn it that way. So that it goes in there. So it's a lovely little cottage garden there. Okay, so we're still doing this right hand side. So we don't want a bit of water. Now again, we've got to be careful. Because we've got to know what's diamonds and what's not diamonds. So we're going to go down. Down. Down to the water. A small pond. Now, I need to place all these out just to check to see whether they're vouchers or coins. I do apologize. Right, they're coins. Okay, so that's okay. So we get rid of that. We get rid of that. We get rid of that. And we put that one into there. Okay. So now we want something just around the front with a little bit of color. Um, now obviously we can't get anything in this area here I can't zoom in enough that where those rushes are you see to the left where that butterfly is now you can't get nothing in that little gap there as you can see you know if I was to put something there it won't go up by the side you see it won't go it can only go there okay so we need something with a bit of height that will cover it so perfect would be a small leafy tree again coins and that there just creeps over the top just over the corner of the pond and now we want something next to the tree so what are we going to have there um i always like the the mossy rock but again, we've got to know. Why do I keep going past it? Am I blind? Right. I need to put those out again to see whether they're diamonds or. Or. No, they're coins. That's brilliant. So. After all the designing I do, surely I should know by now what's coins and what isn't. Um. No, that looks. No, it doesn't look right. Let's have that to there. Yeah, that's nice. Just on the corner there. Let me just move that just to see if anything will go at the back there. No, no. So, yes. And the rock. So, something to go next to the rock. Let's just try that there a minute. need to sort yeah that's that's good because what i can do now is i 
I can go into there and get that lovely bird table. And we can have a bird table. Doesn't that look lovely? Let's face him towards the house. Let's have a look. So we've got the tree there over the... I don't know whether that looks right now. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do? Please help me. Right there and there. Does that look better there? No, it doesn't. We'll have the rock there. And the bird table actually looks quite nice there. Will it go left or right? No, no. Okay, so now we need something just to, just to the right-hand side of that. So... Let's go for, oh, I don't know. Where's that bird? There's a bird there. Kick him like that so he's looking over the lake. He's looking at the fish in the lake. What do you reckon? It's all stuff you can get for low level. So... As you can see, it's all looking very, very pretty. Um, so what we can do, looking at it now, we can kick that into there, kick that into there, take that piece away, and get some more of this, and join that to there, there, and there. So there you have a lovely low-level cottage garden with the gazebo and a little walkway. You've got a pond. You know you've got the uh, you've got the bird table there. I mean, if you don't like the bird table, you can do away with the bird table. Take that away, and we go on to the flower there, and you can put. Well, anything you want, anything you want. We go down to there and we could put a, a lamp in there, a lovely lamp by the pond. That looks quite nice. So it lights up, you know, in the evening and that, you can, uh, it lights it all up. Um, and then obviously to give it the finishing touch, you could have, let's go for, Daffodils. Sick to death of daffodils. Daffodils, daffodils. Right there. There's a crate there. I just seen it. What are we going to win? Oh, every time I go 3, 2, 1, I lose. So I'm going to go from 5 this time. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Wow. Dynamite. TNT, whatever it's called. Look at that. We won. Amazing. Um that kick into there and uh, can i get one more in there yes we can now we want some purple that always goes nice a couple of those there and there turn that to there and at the front of the house <laughs> Got one there, one there, and one on the end. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, Mo? What do you reckon? Oh, no, sorry. He's gone. Do apologise. Look at him. Look. look. Not happy. Look at him marching down that... He's probably thinking to himself, what a horrible person sending me away, look. Oh dear, so upset him. Right, okay, sorry, misled. Couple purple, 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 purple. One there, one there. Turn it, turn it. Okay, and then what we do, one more piece of fence, one more piece of fence there. And the one on the end of this one. And that is your design complete. So there is a 
low level design using all stuff for coins few things for vouchers but you've got to be honest what a design for low level so jasmine i hope you enjoy that we've gone through it bit by bit we've we've talked a little bit about where to place things and how to place things remember you've got that bit of height at the back i've put that big green leafy tree on the right hand side as a bit of natural on that corner there just to just to creep over the over the corner so it looks as though it's you know it's been there a while that tree you know it's a big tree that it's been there a while so there it is i mean you you don't have to have you know the pond and that in there you can you can put whatever you want jasmine you know or it, but that's how you link it all up and then obviously you can you can put your animal you could put some animals into this area and, and you just build on and build on and eventually you get your farm and uh, that's how you build it up so there it is a, a live design by scatterbrook farm hope you've enjoyed the video it's been quite good fun it's turned out okay it looks really really pretty really really cozy um like i said some of the decos that i put in there you don't have to put those decos you know you can put whatever you want once you've got the basic basic design there then you can fill in with whatever you want but certainly the the gazebo area looks outstanding you know and all that is is using low level stuff there's nothing expensive there there's nothing using diamonds nothing that's gonna you know break the bank all low level materials so let me know what you think in the comments i hope you've enjoyed the video um don't forget hit the subscribe share with all your friends especially those that uh, have just started the game make sure that you clear all the trees away so that you can make your designs you know you've got plenty of room to to, to make the designs um again pass this on you know share the links with your friends that have just started the game or even or players that have been playing the game a while you know the more people that see my videos you know the more people that i can help so again hit the subscribe hit the like button let me know in the comments also if you want any design for me to do that you're struggling on or you want to see any design um put it all down in the comments um, also in the comments will be uh, phoebe's link for her channel where she does a live stream on a tuesday night and a sunday night um and that's about it so yeah there's a low very very low level design and look how cool that looks and that's just using very very basic basic stuff oh there's another crate we we'll do it again five four three two one no yeah so there it is i'll just put that there so you can give it a nice little screenshot and uh, that's it so until the next video stay safe everybody and uh, like i say hit the subscribe hit the like put anything you want there in the comments at uh, any designs that you want and we will see you in the next video so take care stay safe and cheerio